If you guys are interested in protecting the investment you made into your Xtool D1 Pro, check out this PCB cover that I made. It simply installs on top of the two standoff posts that sit right in front of the main PCB, and it just snaps right in place. You still have access to the ports and switches, it doesn't at all interfere with your workspace, and best of all, it keeps out the dust and dirt from your workshop or garage and provides a mechanical barrier so that tools don't accidentally make their way in there. If for some reason you do need to remove it, there is a finger pull tab on the left hand side and it will simply just pop off and pop right back on. At the top of the machine, I added this button cover to recess the button. This will prevent you from accidentally pressing it and inadvertently starting your laser prematurely when making last second adjustments to your workpiece. I've done this a few times and it can actually be pretty dangerous. It also protects your button from wood dust and other debris settling in on top of your machine from your woodworking shop or garage. Installation of the button cover is very simple. There are two main parts. You got the plastic frame and you have the flexible cap. Push the ring of the flexible cap into the recess in the bottom of the plastic frame. Then take the included strip of double-sided tape and start applying it to the bottom of the entire assembly. You'll need to cut it into three pieces. It will stick to the bottom and then you can trim the excess off with a pair of scissors. Now you can take something like a hobby knife or a very sharp razor blade and you can start to cut out the holes. Carefully work your way around each of the holes. A sharper blade will make a cleaner cut. A small hobby knife blade is best to get inside of the smaller hole that was meant for the LED indicator on the top of the Xtool D1 Pro. Now that you have the assembly prepared, you can remove the backing off of the double-sided tape and very carefully place the assembly on top of your Xtool D1 Pro. Line up the larger hole with the button and the smaller hole with the LED indicator and then press the double-sided tape down. The flexible cap will firmly fit on top of the plastic frame. When ordering, remember that you have the option of selecting between a red or gray button cover. And that's how quick and easy it is to complete these two upgrades. If you're interested in supporting me and my channel, you can find these on my website, embracemaking.com. And if you guys haven't seen my other two videos about the Xtool D1 Pro and the RA2 rotary attachment, I'll put links in the top right hand corner of the screen, as well as at the end of this video. And as always, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. I try to respond to everybody, or alternatively, you can contact me through my contact page on my website. Thanks for watching.